Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to the channel. Wanted to do a quick little video here and share with you what I believe to be one of the secrets of life. I know you probably laugh, like, oh, what do you know about secrets of life? Probably not a lot, but that's why I'm asking for your opinion. Let me know what you think. After you hear what I have to say, then you can share with me what your thoughts are on the secret of life. First off, I'm going to say this is probably just one of many secrets of life. I think there's probably loads of them. This is just one of those little um, gems of wisdom that comes to you over time, I think. And uh, I heard it from an old guy that I respect, and I, I think he was spot on. So here it is. Life, happiness in life, I should say, in many instances, is all about managing expectations. And you say, Paul, what's that mean? You know, managing expectations. Just simply, let's say it like this. You don't want to set your hopes too high. For example, have you ever had a thing where, say you were going to a family do, you know, kind of like a family get together, you know, maybe it's uh, Uncle Willie's birthday, but Uncle Willie, you know, he's always just a, a grouchy old stubborn ornery old cuss, you know, so you're not his biggest fan and he ain't all big on you either, but you know, you gotta go. So your expectations right off the bat are set low. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be miserable. Food's going to be awful. It's going to drag on forever. And then you get there and sometimes it's like, hey, the dessert ain't too bad, you know. And uh, they're playing some music or, you know, you get in a decent conversation or you meet a new friend or something. And at the end of the day, you say, you know, that wasn't all bad. Just wasn't all bad. And you get that feeling of lightness and you know, just kind of like a happiness comes over here. It's like, hey, I made it through it and it wasn't all that bad. Now, sometimes can, you know, it can go the other way. You know, say like, in my case, hey, and I didn't, but say like, you you know, you ordered a new camera or you ordered a new lens. So or you ordered something, a, a kayak, <laughs> like James, and, um, you know, you're, you're expecting it to come today in the mail and you're all amped up. Oh, it's going to be great. Going to be out there. Going to catch lots of fish. Going to, this going to take the best pictures ever. And then you get it and, you know, it works. It does what you wanted it to do, but it's like, yeah, they're pictures, you know, just like your other camera, more or less, you know. Was it worth the thousand dollars more you spent on it or whatever, you know? You had your expectations set so high, there's no way anything on earth could have possibly lived up to meet those expectations. So then you kind of get that buyer's remorse, you kind of get a little disappointed or something, you know. It's like, eh, geez, me, I shouldn't have bought it, you know. My old camera was working or whatever, you know. It's like you're kind of disappointed. You see how the two things work? So it's like sometimes it's like it's almost like you're better off expecting the worst and then you're not going to be disappointed, you know. It's either going to be what you thought or maybe a little bit better. And if it's a little bit better, then you feel better about the whole situation. Or at least that's the way my crazy brain works a lot of times. So this is your chance to let me know what you guys think. Am I on to something? Am I totally nuts? Let me know in the comments. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. I have fun doing them. But it wouldn't be fun if nobody watched them, I guess. I don't know. I'd probably still do them. But you know what I mean. I appreciate it. Until next time, we'll see ya.